And just br very briefly to your last question, what's the efficacy of, pa of banning these magazine clips? I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high-capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly why us pro-gunners get so angry about these gun control legislation. Because they're being proposed by people who have no idea what they're talking about. This lady sat there in front of all those people and said that banning high-capacity magazines would work because after you use them, you can't use them anymore and it would dry out the supplies. I'm slightly confused because I could have sworn we were talking about magazines and not latex condoms. The entire purpose of a magazine is to hold ammunition, expend the ammunition in the magazine, reload the magazine, and then expend the ammunition again as many times as possible. I didn't know PMAX had an expiration date of one use. This is getting beyond ridiculous. You can't just make up gun control legislation and you can't even understand why everyone's looking at you funny when you're at the shooting range and you just threw away three P-Mags in a garbage can after shooting. And please, for the love of God, can we stop with the calling of magazines magazine clips? <laughs> at this point, I'd rather you simply say clips because saying them both makes you look ridiculous. If I circle A and B on a multiple choice exam and A is the correct answer, I still get it wrong. Either be all wrong or all right. Being by wrong is worse. Let's assume for the purpose of amusing myself that what she said was technically correct, that you can't reload high capacity magazines after you use them and then that it will inevitably dry up the supply. You do realize that's essentially taking away all guns in violation of everyone's Second Amendment right. But no, no one's coming after your guns, right? You just want to take away all the things we need in order to use them. Imagine how you would feel if the government said no one's trying to take away your Prius. We're just stopping the flow of gasoline and oil into the United States. Would that not infringe on your right to own a car? Oh, that's right. We don't have a constitutional right to own a car.